Wonderful. Uh, I expected nothing less because you are, you know, one that's renowned for your beauty. Uh, but what a great outfit as well. You really, you've, I match you've, you. You've synchronised. Yes, we're sort of coordinated. There's something going on already. Let's talk about that. Um, <laughs> right now, you've just whizzed in. You came in yesterday uh, here to the UK for the premiere of your new movie. Yes. Um, we'll oh, not yesterday. The day before that. When did you come in? Wednesday. Yes. Okay, you came when? See. Well, I came in like at midnight. Mm. Okay. Well, let's so not. So that could be. Yesterday or anyway? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't really care. I'm sorry. just. I'm, I'm kind of working up to something else, but we can yeah. talk about that if you want. <laughs> what time exactly on Wednesday did you arrive? <laughs> anyway, you're here, that's the important thing. Yep. And I'm glad yeah. you are. Uh, but what a whirlwind life you must lead, because, um, I mean, you, you, you work a lot. I know you're one of the hardest working women in show business. You make well, a lot I of movies. I just have four months um, of doing nothing. Have you really? Yeah. <laughs> but I do work very, very hard. What time did you <laughs> arrive in the UK? Because uh, I feel safe on that ground. I'm honestly, uh, I didn't know you'd had a big chunk of time off. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I was just um, hanging out in Australia. And what do you do when you're unwinding then? When you have four months ahead of you? What Not you much. Do you, I just... do you have hobbies? Um, yeah, well, hobbies. <laughs> what do I do? I, I love to swim in the ocean. Yes. Mm, so Same. I sort of swim almost every day in the yeah. ocean. But My grandmother, who's um, 90, um, she swims every day. Wow. Yeah. And this is in Australia, yeah? And she's got all her own teeth and she doesn't wear glasses. Well, fine. So if I don't get lucky with you, <laughs> so maybe, maybe I can pop around and see Granny later on for a little bit of... <laughs> Bondi she, loving. She reveals that. She's very proud of that. So. Uh, now, so 90 years old, that's something. That's pretty good, isn't it? Well, she's 89. I sort of exaggerated oh, a little. Well, it sounds good. She'll thank you for that. No, I tell her she's going to get to be 100. That's great to have someone... Maybe like... more, right? Um, so you, you swim a little bit, but in Australia, presumably... Well, quite a lot. But you can't swim bit. because of fear of the sharks, can't you? There's sharks everywhere. Oh, I don't worry about those. Well, you should worry about them because they no, get between them. your teeth. You love like sharks? sharks? Yeah, yeah. I go diving with the sharks. I don't agree with that kind of thing. <laughs> I don't. Sh leave them alone. Yes, I do leave them yeah, alone. Yeah, well, stop pestering the sharks. No, <laughs> no, no this, you know, you... Oh, please. You go... <laughs> you, I, would, I have never been diving with great whites, right. but I've been diving with reef sharks and stuff like well, that. Well, it must be exciting, I imagine. Yeah, you, you can sense them in the water. That's what's really fascinating, is that you, when you get under, you can actually feel when a shark is present because the ocean got it just you you can feel them and you see other people voiding their bowels and, and <laughs> heading for the beach i guess no, you have other people going like this yeah yeah shark um yeah. all right but you're you're, you're over here you're spending any time in the uk or are you whizzing off somewhere i'm actually going to see um the musical billy elliott all oh, right elton john's musical adaptation of uh -huh. billy elliott. and the director um who directed me in the hours stephen daldry yes you knew that though yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just don't want you, you look bad. I, well, yeah, but I didn't want him to be watching thinking she's forgotten me already. No, no, you wouldn't think that. I'm here for you. That's all I'm saying, Nicole. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, you know what I love about uh, Nicole is you're, you're like an old time movie star in some ways. Um, I mean, you, no, no, you make That's a, a wide range. No, no. <laughs> you're glamorous, is what I'm saying. You have oh. that. I, was, I, I, I spent some time yesterday, I'm not just dropping names here, with Lauren Bacall, oh, who right. was so complimentary about you. Uh, oh, yeah, I yeah, was interviewing her yesterday. You, you made, was it two movies with her or just one? Yeah, we made two sort of obscure movies. Well, last well, one not did. obscure, but what, you know, they're more avant garde. Not actually. mainstream, is what we're yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I was talking to her about her career, and you've obviously had conversations. You think, here's a woman who, who you know, obviously was married to Bogey, spent oh. time with Sinatra, worked with all the greats, Rock Hudson, Gregory Peck. Mm -hmm. And, you know, today's film Was she on the show? No, she wasn't on this show. She, oh. I did it for a special that I'm doing later in the year. Oh, She's right. far too smart to come on this show. She's oh. <laughs> she had publicists and people, they warned her off. But anyway... Um, <laughs> Uh, but she's a lovely woman, isn't she? Uh, yeah, and, she and is. Like a, she calls herself my New York mother. Yeah, well, you got on really well. There she's was a, quite bossy. There was an odd thing where it was said... <laughs> she does, she is. It was reported that she said something about it. Well, she didn't say at all, even. And the uh, press kind of, you know, they're weird like that, aren't they? They, they kind of <laughs> seem to want to say things about people that show them in a bad light. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's so easy to sit and complain about all of that. But at the same time, you just sort of 
roll with the punches, I suppose. Nicole is one of the biggest, uh, certainly <laughs> the biggest female stars in Hollywood. There's no doubt about it. Well, I don't know. Now, now when you started, but you, when you started, you, you obviously wanted to act. You knew at an early mm. age you wanted to perform. Um, uh, but in Australia, where you, where you started, Hollywood must have seemed like a long way away. It must have seemed, I would have thought, a, a difficult dream to realise. You're very serious. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm I have so many sorry. facets. <laughs> What was the question again? <laughs> so you came in on Wednesday, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, OK, but I tell you what, been, well, no, it was about your ambition, really, because it strikes me that you're someone who... I, I don't know whether you're a tough person, but certainly you're someone who seems uh, to set your sights on something and then achieve it, which is admirable. Oh, not really. I mean, I think for me it's more just... Um, I don't know how actually it's happened. I, I, um, I just love to act. Yeah. I think it's that kind of pure in a way where you just. And when I was um, married for you know most of my twenties actually, I didn't really care as much then. About because about I had no because I you know you have other things that you uh, that you care about more, and. Um, and then in that weird way that life kind of sweeps you up, when all of that fell apart for me, suddenly my, my work was able to fill a void, really. Yeah, well, that's what they say to people. When, when something so, upsets their life, get busy, you know, and it, and it keeps you occupied. Yeah, I mean, it, it really... But it wasn't even a conscious decision. It was more like, my God, what, am, well, what do I have now? You know, I have my kids and then I've got to sort of get myself together. Um, my mum always says, pull yourself together. You know, it's not a lot of sympathy in my family. That's, that's nice when parents say that to you, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's like, you go, Mom. And she's like, oh, just pull yourself together. And you, <laughs> and you have pulled yourself together, I guess. So I suppose that's what it is. It's yeah. like trying to pull yourself together. Do you but I, don't, I have my meltdowns. She sounds a bit, a bit of a hard bitch, your mum. You know? <laughs> oh, my God. No, I mean that in a nice way. I mean that in a good way. I have to leave well, the show now. I mean that now. in a good way. That's a, is that a bad thing to say? I mean, I mean a tough... No, she's divine. That's what I mean. She sounds like a divine bitch. She sounds great. What? No, I don't mean that badly. Don't take that the wrong way. Oh my gosh! I apologise to your mother. Let's yes, talk about your grandmother. We'll be safe for that. Hey, no, hey, no. maybe. Um, <laughs> no, she's she's no. Oh my that's gosh! A, I'm that's a tough get thing to so say to a kid. Trouble now. I would have given no, you a shoulder to cry on. No, she's a darling. She's a darling. But that's a tough but thing she... to say. <laughs> Pull yourself together. Yeah. <laughs> she yes, pulled herself but, together. I mean, in the be in the best possible way, I suppose. But yeah, she's she's got her, you know. Okay. okay. She... Well, let's move off. Let's that. Let's move on. What are you, why did you even start with this? I don't know what you're doing. I got in at midnight. Let's talk about sharks at midnight. <laughs> what time did you come in with the sharks? Uh, all right. Well, I apologise. Now listen. Yes. You look. <laughs> you look so glamorous and so. We find out when you started He's out. Saying the same no, thing. but when you started out, yeah. you had the big, gingery, curly hair, didn't you? <laughs> I did. You, you, it, it was... Well, they. This is here. They dyed my hair ginger. No. They did. Who did? When I was fourteen, because they was said you've got really pale skin. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 when I did BMX Bandits. Oh. And they said you've got really pale skin. You should have red hair. And I said, well, uh, okay. And then they dyed my hair bright red, which I hated. I went to school and everyone teased me. And then I kind of loved it. There's a, no, we have, there's uh -oh. a, a shot of you with the. Oh. <laughs> you see, you couldn't oh, look more different. <laughs> Like use one of those afro combs on yeah. me, so and it's like not naturally... do that, and they would and they would dye it red every two weeks. Well, because well, a... my mum wouldn't let me use like proper dye on the hair, then she made them use a vegetable dye. Okay. <laughs> you sure? 14. You sure I wasn't in the right neighbourhood when talking about oh, your mother? Because please please take, that off. That take the picture so away. Cool. I thought you were a natural ginger-haired woman, but you are you're a blonde woman, then, are you? I, well, I was a towhead when I was a kid. Okay. A what head? Toehead. A toehead. You know what toehead is, don't you? <laughs> oh, um, that's where you're born with that white hair. Oh, right. So for you're the first year of your life. Okay, and they don't know what colour you're going to be. Because I had a, a friend who had a, a ginger haired girlfriend who was. I like ginger hair. Yeah, I and, love uh, ginger hair. Ginger. Was she? Uh, red hair. Red hair. And she went out for a Brazilian, a waxing. I don't know if you're familiar with that. Hey, <laughs> I'm not going to ask you about yours. All right. But. When she came back with what the red is hair, this show? you know, <laughs> you'll like this story. You can use this if you want. When she came back, he said he looked like a fish finger down there. Now, <laughs> well, now you see. It's, that's a good. Oh my was, God, get get David out here. <laughs> well, you, you get me all flustered now. I, yeah, we're all 
like a bit. Well, it's, you know. <sighs> when did you arrive in the United Give Kingdom? Me that. <laughs> Uh, uh, now, so. okay, now let's, let's talk. Nicole. Yes. Okay. I'm here. I'm with you. Is yeah. there a connection here? I think there's a connection. <laughs> um, uh, let's talk about The Interpreter. I saw it the other day. Right. Okay. okay. This, is, this is Nicole's new movie. Uh, she's in it with Sean Penn. Wow, what, what a great treat to know you're going to work with someone like Sean Penn. That must be, for an actress, one of the most exciting things, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. I'm not saying much anymore, because <laughs> you scare me. You, you, seem, you seem a little tense. I am. Would you like a, a massage? No. <laughs> no, I just want it to end now. <laughs> I can be too much for a woman the first time. <laughs> if I had a pound for every time someone said that to me. Uh, in the film, you play, now you play a <laughs> South African woman or a woman who spent a long time in South Africa? Um, well, I was born there. Right. Not me, the but character. The character. Um, and, um, yes. Yes? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I'm you do the accent. Hey, Nicole. And red. You, yeah. do, you do the accent, great. And you've done Thank a... Thank you. You seem someone who really seems comfortable in any number of accents. And I don't know whether that's because you're Australian, now working American, you, you have to do that. But, cause I've heard well, you do... when you're an Australian actress, you really, or an actor, you have to... I mean, it, there's very few roles that are specifically for an Australian. So, so and now, which accents do you find hard to manage? Which ones are, come to you easily? Because Australian and South African are quite close anyway, aren't they? No. <laughs> I think you will find they are. <laughs> no, that's what someone like you would say, this, but they're not. <laughs> this is South African. They speak like this. Okay? Right. Because it's a little bit Dutch. Sort of. Okay? And Australian is a bit close to it. Hello, all right. <laughs> yeah. Bingo, good. bingo. Yeah. <laughs> Skippy. Kind of. No, Skippy goes. Did you watch Skippy as a child? Yeah, I love Skippy. It must have been, he must be like a hero in Australia, wouldn't he? Yes, I can't believe you've heard of Skippy. We had Skippy over here. Oh, right. The number of children Skippy rescued Skippy's from Wells. Skippy's a kangaroo, just so. You know who Skippy is. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do you miss Australian things when you're away from home? Um, Vegemite. Tim Tams? Oh, yeah, I love a Cherry Tim Wipe? Uh, I would go for a Violet Crumble over a Cherry Ripe. Oh, mm hmm. Okay. And I miss um, my sister. Do you? Well, yeah. Yeah, you can't buy like her over twin. here. You can buy the, uh, you can <laughs> no. buy the cherry one. Hey, let's show a clip of the film, because we didn't show you. So this oh, is a trailer right. for the film. Now, um, it's a tense thriller. There's a moment at the end I'm between you... I'm scared what you're going to put up there. <laughs> There's a moment at the end between yeah. you and Sean Penn. Really good. Oh, don't show the end. I'm not going to show the end. I'm, just, I'm not going to tell them what the end is either. I've done this before. <laughs> Quote your mother, pull yourself together, kid. <laughs> they come over here. Anyway, <laughs> Nicole, it's a great scene between you and Sean at the end. A really, oh. and I'm not going to tell you, so I don't want to give it away, but this, like, this end scene, the scene between you two guys in the room, you know what I'm talking about. Super yes. tense, really tense. Right. That, is that a tougher uh, sort of scene to act, or the fact that you've got something you can really get your teeth into, does that make it easier for you? Um, yeah, getting your teeth into something. Uh, but I actually, I did Interpreter and then I did a film Bewitched straight after it. And the lovely thing was being able to do something that was really, um, <clears throat> in terms of a character, an, in, an intense character, a damaged, a damaged woman, and then to be able to go and do something that was funny. They, and are, light. they are about as far apart as you Yeah, they're like week. polar opposites. We'll talk about Bewitched for a tiny bit afterwards, but let's have a look. <laughs> this is Nicole's new movie. It's out today all over the UK. Go and see it. It's The Interpreter. <laughs> The new movie, Sidney Pollack directing, Nicole Kidman, Sean Penn, the interpreter. What more do you need to know? That's, it's going to be a big hit, I would have thought. Oh, you never know with well, that stuff. But Sean's wonderful in the movie, great. I well, have you're to great say. As it's well. really, I'm OK. He's oh, great. <laughs> all right, now, uh, Bewitched. You made the big movie version of Bewitched. We all remember Bewitched. It was Elizabeth Montgomery as the witch in suburbia. There's a very different take in the new movie, I believe. Well, there's sort of dual stories going on. We yeah. do the, the Bewitched and we also then... Um, Will Ferrell, you've... Will Ferrell, who was so great in Elf, he's a terrific yeah, actor. Yeah, yeah. And um, so we sort of play Samantha and Darren, and then we play um, uh, today, you know, people... The people modern today. world. God, I better learn how to describe yeah. the film. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> I've got a few months. Uh, Nicole, yes. how lovely to have you on the show. Well, thank you for having uh, me. The, in the interpreter, as I said, is out now. Go and see it. We're looking forward to Bewitched as well when that comes out thank later you. in the Thanks year. Thanks for coming. Uh, what a... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, oh God. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, 
one and only, one of lovely guests, Nicole Kidman. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nicole Kidman.